Hey, what's up guys? I'm Zach King from FinalCutKing.com and I'm going to teach you how to remove the orange tips from your airsoft guns. You know, for safety reasons, sometimes you have to shoot with them on. So let's go ahead and start. I've got the footage too. You can download the project file as well as just the footage to follow along. I've got the footage in my browser. I'm going to grab it and drop it into the composition. And here's where it starts. You can see the orange. We see a little bit of orange right here. That's actually not going to be noticed. This right here. I'm going to continue and we're going to come up to the first frame where there's orange. And what we're going to do is duplicate this layer. So Command D duplicates it. I'm going to trim this down to the frame. And this top layer is going to act as our cover. So if you've done masking before, grab your pen tool. It's also the Command G. Key Command G. And we're going to crop around here and that should be good enough. Just crop around the orange, leave a little room. And now come over to your effects and presets and we're going to use the filter change to color. So if you type in change, you'll see it here. Drop it on top of this mass layer, the top layer. And now we can go over here into our effects controls and we're gonna switch basically from an orange color. So grab that eyedropper and it's gonna say from this orange color to a black color and I'm gonna grab maybe a darker gray now it turned green but that's because we only have it to change the hue let's go to hue lightness and saturation now there we go it's some black looks kinda pixelated doesn't look too hot so let's change the hue darken it up and then I'm gonna change the softness here not on the actual mask feather but softness of the effect and this is when we're gonna go in I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to adjust these here for our first frame. And the reason this works so well is because, I mean, really, this is one frame. And even though it looks kind of terrible up close, not only are the muzzle flashes going to be changing, um, helping to hide it, but if I go ahead and hit M, I'll hit M twice to open up the entire mask settings. I'm going to keyframe the path and keyframe the expansion just in case and the expansion is moving these ones each frame at a time. But if you select the path, go to the next frame, command arrow, and I'm going to pull this up. Make sure you're selecting the path, not the expansion right now. If you need to, you can select the expansion like that and change it. So basically, as long as you're keyframing, you're just going frame by frame, next arrow, next arrow and you're adjusting the expansion once in a while but you can also do something cool if you have a long scene and you need to go quickly which in this case all this stuff I want to go quick so skip like two or three frames and you can it'll guess where it's gonna be and if it's wrong just change that after but it's a lot quicker if you just skip maybe four or five frames We'll see what this is doing. See, there's a little bit of orange. So basically, it's pretty tedious just to go frame by frame or skip every other frame, but you're just keyframing this on, and then you'll be good. So if we play through what we have so far, you'll be able to see when it goes that fast. Not too bad. And it's amazing, once I put the muzzle flares in, like if you look at the final video, there's no way you could tell, especially at the speed she's spinning. And I do this in so many of my videos and no one has actually called me out on it because it's really unnoticed. So that's how you can change the tip of your gun in your own action scenes. If you do something like this in your video, definitely attach them to this so I can see or send them to me on my Facebook page. You can search The Final Cut King and also subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, comment below.